Hey guys, it's me, Double D, with another episode of Yoshi's Wooly World! In the last episode, we took on 2-6 at the volcano and went through a frustrating time at 2-7 with all the stuff that is hidden there. And in this episode, what else is there to do but to take on the fortress of Bunsen the Hot Dog's Castle. Yep, we're gonna take on the boss. And as you can expect from the title, there's gonna be lots of lava, so feel free to use a fire and lava immunity badge if you are so inclined, if you're not that good or you just want to get this over with. So with that out of the way, let's get to Bunsen the Hot Dog. And hot as in, like, temperature is hot, not hot as in sex appeal. That would be weird. Anyway, welcome to the castle. And as you right off the bat, you'll notice another new mechanic. Fiery zippers! Or, I don't know what to call them, but they are fiery zippers to me. Yeah. You see, you see anywhere with the zipper, that's where the fire is gonna go. Also, uh, I thought it, it would do something if I threw something at it, but guess not. Or I was thinking of something else. Anyway, into the door we go because there's gonna be a lot of stuff we, we could do there. So with that, let's go down here for, well, stamp patches because I want to get those out of the way. And is there something up? Uh, by the way, there was a Wonder Wool right there, but it'll sink into the lava soon. So if you're not in time, you're gonna have to wait it out because, you know, that's how things work. Yeah, yeah, and if you recall, lava will instantly kill you, unless you're wearing the badge. Which, in that case, it'll, you'll just bounce, bounce off it like a spray. Also, we have another new enemy, and this one is probably has really questionable name convention. It is known as a hot dog. I am not kidding. These little adorable little puppies are called hot dogs. And they're probably the cutest enemies in the Yoshi universe. Of so, of course, I feel sad every time I kill one. Don't be feel like I'm heartless just for killing one. I have to do what I have to do. I mean... Do, do what I have to do. I mean, I'm not in Undertale where everyone has, can be spared. I'm in Yoshi where everyone can die. Anyway, let's go on in and so yeah. So what we have to do and hang on. I know something happens with these fire zippers, but I'm not sure what. Ah, uh, no. no, no, my imagination. Okay, so the, the way to deal with hot dogs. You can't jump on them. Jump on them unless they're wrapped in yarn. Otherwise, they will their heads will hurt you because you know they're 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 like wicks on their heads, so they're burning like burning candles. Yeah. So also, you want to throw an egg somewhere at that last beat up there because not only is there a, smi a stamp patch, but there's also a smiley flower. And let me guess, you can take hearts. Yeah. Okay. So with that out of the way, let's get into that door. Yeah. Hot dogs are probably one of my favorite enemies due to, the, due to the, their design itself and the fact that it's just too adorable. Of course, I just like adorable things in general if, you, if I've ever told you that before. I mean, I just let, go on about adorable things. Also, there's a hidden cloud over here because what it does is contain the platform that'll get that smiley flower. Without it, it's pretty much impossible. Also, stamp patches because of the beads that form. And do you contain anything in here? No, it's just a big old empty space. Okay. You do contain something because they're sponge. And I was right. More stamp patches. And even more stamp patches. But yeah. Uh, no. 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 Ah, uh, there's nothing in there. I feel sad. Okay, as soon as that zipper's out of the way, I'll just round down here and get that Wonder Wolf. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, lava can be really stressful to deal with. Oh, you contain something. Of course you... Of course you would contain hearts. Anyway, and those fire... Those fire zippers. I don't know what to call them. But I'm just gonna leave them as if fire zippers. Uh, I can't think of a good joke has to do with those fire zippers at all. I mean, they're zippers and fire is hot, so I guess it's a hot fly... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I even try to come up with the jokes. Anyway, there is, a there is something in here. Stamp patches. Yep, stamp patches all around. Anyway, so next up I have to wait for the, the platform to lower so I can be able to board this because there is a Wonder Wolf up here and I believe some of these some of these contain stamp patches. Um yes! Okay. Okay. Uh you know I'm curious about something. Is the way the stamp patches are the beads are turning they'll indicate stamp patches? I highly doubt it, but who knows if that's the case. Anyway. More stamp patches, and I believe if I 
no way. No, it just it just provides me with more be Aha! I knew there was something I was forgetting. I thought I was gonna skip that one, but nope. You would you wouldn't fool me today. Anyway, there are hot dogs in cages, and we can't do anything about it. And we have to be quick because if we collect all the beads. I'm yeah. How are the hot dogs are gonna try to stop us? And the beads are almost disappearing. Uh, okay, good. Yeah, do it and you get the smiley flowers. I believe it's that's number four. Yeah, as, as cute as these hot dogs are, the hot dogs can be kind of jerks if you don't if you're not careful. Yeah. 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 So I don't know if I could call them my favorite enemy just for their cute design, even though they can get annoying. But you know, you know what you mean. Also, if you check here for a hidden al alcove, you could find. Another stamp patch in here. Yeah, that that cloth hanging around is pretty much a big hint. Yeah, if you see any cloth hanging around, that pretty much guarantees there is something hidden in there. Where's that tissue? Uh, who who knows? Point is, we made it further. And more hot dogs. I kind of don't want to kill it, but I but I must. The and it's the rules of video games. Unless you're an Undertale, you must kill your enemies, no matter. No matter how cute and adorable they are. No matter how you feel. That's pretty much the rule of video games. And do you contain something up there? Because th there is this conspicuously open space up there. Uh, no there isn't. Eh, I feel sad. Okay, I wanna wait till the hot dogs are, are, are not doing anything. Okay. Oh, I could just bother them by licking them. Okay, that's, that's kind of funny actually. Aw, come on, stop. I should not have done that, <laughs> but it was worth it. Worth it just to see their cute reactions. Anyway, do you contain something in there? Oh, you can seal, seal the, the flaming zippers. Sweet. Uh, I got hit, but I don't really care because it'll be worth it. Because smiley flower. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to get to get the 20 hearts, which makes me sad a little. But it's kind of worth it because if I'm only going for stamp patches and well, not stamp patches. Um, Wonder Wool and Smiley Flowers, yeah. It'll be well worth it. By the way, I think we're approaching the last two stamp patches. Yay! However, there's the boss door, but we don't want to go up there yet. Instead, we want to go up here because the final Wonder Wool, and that's all the collectibles in this stage. Uh, please let there be enough hearts for me to fill up the meter. No, there isn't. Oh well, I guess I'm gonna have to go, well... Half-hearted, I guess. I swear I wasn't trying to make a joke about that. In fact, I don't think what I said qualifies as a joke, but whatever. Isn't it about time you gave up? That really burns me up! Or rather, it'll burn you up! <laughs> and this cute, innocent hot dog becomes... Bunsen, the hot dog. So yeah, I don't have any yarn balls with me, which is sad because I need some for what for how to defeat this one. So I'm gonna have let Bunsen do his attack because well, he is probably the cutest boss I've ever faced, and I am so sorry, Pinkie Pie. Anyway, as soon as he breathes fire and turns black, you need to throw a, a yarn ball and then drown his tongue. I feel sort of bad for him just because we're doing this. But yeah, after that, he'll start to play around a little bit, but, and then probably breathe fire at you. Unfortunately, I only- I don't think there's an opportunity to get some yarn balls out of- out of him. Otherwise, I would have got, gotten yarn balls beforehand by now. Anyway... Oh, oh good, I thought I was gonna make a- some sort of wave. Okay, okay, and then... Flip over, boy! Flip over! Good boy, Bunsen! Okay, no, wait. There we go. And then we're pounding on his tongue. Good boy, laying her tongue out so I can pound on it. That's, I feel so dirty just for pounding on the dog, but like I said, no matter how cute the enemy is, we just we gotta kill it. Yeah. Well, at least we're not stripping him. That would be bad. Anyway, the ground pound us, and then he's gonna. I am scared. Of what he's gonna do? This is his third hit, so. Oh. Oh, that. Oh, blue fire. Okay, and... Okay, good. 
That's the last, that should be the last hit. And Bunsen, you are a cold dog now. And I feel sad for killing him already. F 15 out of 20 hearts. Yeah, I got screwed out of it being hit only once, but it was all worth it because I got all the collectibles. Which is always a good thing. I'm willing to sacrifice that. But now we have to say goodbye to the cutest boss ever. And now I'm sad. Anyway, we got a new power badge. I believe that reduces the damage you take. So if you're trying for a 20 heart run, at least it'll help help out with making things easier in case you get hit. And we got po quite possibly my second favorite Yoshi, Bunsen the Yoshi. It's just too cute. Look at that nose. And by collecting all the smiley flowers, we have unlocked the special world for for world two. And of course, we have to go sit through more cutscene of Kamek. Well, be feeling defeated. That world looks really nice, but we're not gonna go there yet. Instead, like I said, I'm gonna, I plan to do two stages every episode. So, with our newly acquired Bunsen the Yoshi, we will go to stage 2-S. Perils of Perplexing Pyramid. Oh, Perils of the Perplexing Pyramid. And guess what? There's gonna be blind shenanigans. In case you're not up for the challenge, the higher defense badge will reduce the hearts that you lose when you get hit, so that's always a good thing. So, with that out of the way, let's go with no badge into, well, blind shenanigans in the special stage. I, I'm scared, guys. I am scared of what's to come, and there's no me versus Poochie. No! Poochie versus Yoshi, and no! That was just weird. Anyway, it's still nighttime because, of course, that's the rule of of this thing. And, ooh, we have to get the keys somehow. Okay. Okay, okay. so how do I want to go about this? That's the, that's the thing I'm concerned about. Um, how, how should I... There's sponge up there. Do I do this? Oh, good, this first smiley flower. Yay! Okay, um, how do I want to go about this then? Oh, oh. Oh yeah, you if you jump into this, you'll be launched forward like a missile. Yeah, it's really nice. However, I still want to know how we can... How we can... Wait. I think I got it now. Okay. We have to... We have to use the platform. Uh, I messed up. But I get what I'm doing. There is a platform, and I know what you're, suppo you're supposed to do with this Koopa shell. Okay, so... I'm just gonna have to do this. And then wait for the... To... Hit this thing. And, and, uh, there we go, and I missed it. But you get what you are supposed to do, right? Yeah, I, I get it now, okay. You know, this is really clever. Clever. I mean, it's a puzzle-based one, so, uh, and you know how much I like puzzles. Well, well, my playtime with Professor Layton was in the indication, and I gotta be get there quickly, quickly. Okay, I'm there. Okay, and, okay, and then hit, hit this thing. And there's our key. Yay! Of course, there's gonna be a lot more action because, well, but I'm excited for this level. I think this is gonna. Uh, I think I'm, this is gonna be my favorite level so far. Okay, where's the key this time? It's right over there. So, a perplexing pyramid indeed. And. Okay, I thought there was something out there due to the fact that the shadows are trying to point out something. Okay. Okay, let's see what do, what do I have to do. Okay, there's the Wonder Woman right over there. And. Eventually, we'll see a Koopa shell. Okay. I'm trying to gauge what, what we're going to, be, going to be doing very soon, so... Oh, there's a smiley flower over there, which I gotta go get. Go get. Oh! Oh, there is a hidden thing in there. Hearts. Uh, oh, I'm supposed to hit you. Hit you until you hit the switch. Uh. There we go. Now we just gotta get there quickly. Oh, right. Smiley flower. Okay. Oh, I think I get what I'm supposed to do. I have to kill you because you're instrumental to everything that goes on in this room. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm sure of it. So throw you with an egg to make you roll into the spikes. Yeah, I get it now. I get it. Okay. So, 
what I'm gonna do is throw an egg at you. you go on there, and then as soon as you jump up, I'm gonna throw something at you. Throw it at you. Throw it at you. And, okay. At, at, at least I'm getting the idea of what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, so, I'm gonna throw it at you to hit that switch. Okay, throw it at you to hit, to go into that there. And of course I have to wait until, yeah, I have to wait until the blocks are not there, but at least I get the whole idea of what to do. Okay. Uh, push, please. Okay. Okay. And then I'm gonna push you as soon as you jump. And then... Uh, no! Ah, oh, crap. Okay, at least I have a second chance because he's not dead. Okay. So... So with that out of the way, I'm gonna have to push you. You know, maybe maybe hasty mode would would not be such a bad idea after all. Okay, and then no, wrong way. Oh, I have to start over. But I get what I'm supposed to do because you know it's just the things that haven't been going my way. Okay. Okay, and then and then I'll hit you. Okay, good. Now you gotta hit the switch up there. Which will allow me to get the key. Okay. Thank you, good sir. Have fun in your prison. Ha ha ha. Okay, I'm done with I'm done with torturing these little enemies. Okay. All done. Well not exactly because there's still more rooms to go and there I know there should be a smiley flower somewhere. Uh, no matter. Anyway. A Monty Mole. Well, I think I get the idea of what I'm supposed to do because it's gonna chase after us no matter what. But before I do that... Ah, there we go. There are hearts over there, but I know there is something else up there entirely. I just don't know what, what to do to get there. There, uh, Yeah, I have no idea what to do to even get out there, but I know there is something up there, up, something else that's up there entirely. Oh, that Monty Mole's gonna keep chasing us. Okay. Oh, uh, crap. This is gonna be harder than I thought. Can I eat him? No, I can't. I have to keep spare the Monty Mole and keep him alive for the time being. Okay. I'm gonna keep jumping over him so he will continue to chase me. That is not... That is not keeping him alive. Okay. Uh, okay, maybe staying up here should be, would be a good idea so he will continue to chase me. That is not what I call keeping him alive. Well, at least I could get all the Wonder Woman potential stamp patches in here. <sighs> keeping Monty Moles alive is harder than I thought. Usually I just kill him, and by the and a few times I have to do it, it's I just kill him by accident. By the way, I think there was a stamp patch down there, but it doesn't matter because I'm just gonna investigate and see what we have to do. That way I, I will know what to do when the time comes to do something. And you contain this smiley flower, do you? Yes, you do. Wait, where did I miss the second one? Where did, did where did I miss the second one? Uh, no matter. At least you know, know what to do. So, I'm gonna go here. That's not what I call keeping him alive. Okay, now I'll go in here. Keep jumping over you, so... And then stand in here, so he will continue to try to chase me. And go in here. Okay. And then... Platform should line up. That's not what I call keeping him alive. Oh good, he's still alive. Okay, um, let's see, what do I do? Yeah, this is a bit hard, but they don't call these the special worlds for nothing. So, Monty Mole, keep chasing after me. Come on, Monty Mole, come on, keep chasing me, keep chasing me, keep chasing me. I should probably not flutter jump because I might kill him by accident. Okay, at least there's a platform up there so he'll try to actively go after me. Okay, I have to wait till the platform is safe enough for him to cross. Like right here. Uh, uh, really? Really now? And I died. Ah, oh, I have to start over. Oh, that's where the smiley flower was. <laughs> well, silly me. Oh, at least I know know where it is. So, pro tip. If you want to do this, you might as well get all the beads in here first so that you, they won't be a ma major distraction to you. Because then you're probably gonna 
want to get everything here as you go, and that would be really bad. Yeah. Also, this is this one is particularly challenging because I have to keep the Monty Mole alive. Yeah, and if you saw my previous attempts, yeah, that's that's a bit of a challenge. So with that out of the way, I might as well collect all the collectibles that I I have done again. Yes, I kept dying as I on my way here. Really? You just walked into my foot, Monty Mole? <sighs> I really don't like this room at all. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Are you serious? <sighs> okay, there we go. Okay. Let's just hope he's not dumb enough to get on, on Yoshi's foot as soon as he's... Okay, good. Now, now I can guide him. That should not have been that hard. Uh, anyway, he's still going. I might need some yarn balls, so I might as well eat him after everything he's done to me. Screw you, Monty Moles. Especially the ones that follow me. You caused me no grief. Well, you caused me so much grief that I don't even know. In fact, you saw caused me so much grief, my sentences aren't even making any sense. Fire. Okay, and there's a sarcophagus. Um, I don't know where this is going, but okay. Oh! Uh, is there anything hidden? That's what I'm cu curious about. Oh, there we are. There's something hidden in the sarcophagus. And that's the last smiley flower! Yay! And... Do you contain anything useful up there? Uh, no, there isn't. Okay, there is a torch. Okay. Uh, time it. Okay, good! There we go. We are now cut off from the pyramid. However, there's the Wonder Wool over here, and I believe the last of the sand patches should be... Well... On the way here. And downwards and more, even more downwards. Stop teasing me, where's this, the last stand patch? Oh, it's right there. And there you go. And of course, I'm probably not gonna get the hearts. And no beads, or no flower stamp, but who cares? We completed the level and that was so needlessly difficult. But I kind of liked it. Really, really gives challenge. Lots of challenge to be exact, especially with that Monty Mole. It was annoying, I, I loved it. Anyway, so with that out of the way, oh my god. That's the second one, this s special stage that I have completed. Bad dog! Where does Poochie com come into this level? I'm not sure exactly. Point is, we completed everything there is about this. And we collected new Miiverse stamps, including one of Montgomery. The big mole. And our materialized Yoshi is... I see light blue, we got a Wii Yoshi! I have no idea what that those colors had to do with the Wii. Eh, I probably won't figure it out. So, with that out of the way, we have officially completed World 2. And in the next episode of Yoshi's Wooly World, with World 2 complete, we are now able to access World 3. So, I will see you guys next time. Bye!